What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the men that's going to change your life. Today's topic is, you did it because you wanted to. Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. You want it because you want it because you want it because you want it. Period. You drank that drink because you wanted to. You made that text message to that person you know you shouldn't be texting because you wanted to. You showed up drunk at your kid's birthday party because you wanted to. See, those thoughts are also the same as this. You got up earlier this morning and you went for your walk and you manifested your future because you wanted to. You left just a little bit more energy on the floor at the gym because you wanted to. You laid in bed with your wife for an extra 10, 15 minutes this morning because you wanted to. See, here's the thing. What happens along this journey is for some reason, we start justifying the things that we want. Feel like you need to tell someone else. What I find is many men only focus on the negative things. See, they're willing to not take credit for the things that they did, like I just spoke about, the bad shit, because they want to blame it on somebody else. When you want it, you want it, period. Every action I've ever taken, every business I've ever built, everything I've ever destroyed, every fucking mean word I've ever said, everything has come down because I wanted to say it. Now, sure, at certain times, some alcohol may or may not have made it a little bit easier to say the things that I wanted to say. But at the end of the day, I took it. I took the action and I did it, period. Extreme ownership. Today's message is going to be short and sweet. Quit doing things that you want to do or quit doing things and then saying you didn't want to or I'm sorry or I didn't mean it or I'll never do it again. And look at the fucking mirror and own up your responsibilities. Own up to who you are. In my program, one of the first steps we have to do is stop fucking lying, period. Getting down to the root cause, understanding the purpose of why you've been doing what you've been doing or getting clarity on what you've been doing, reconnecting that with the purpose, propelling into a confident state of mind, and then being able to control your thoughts, emotions, actions. But in order to cross that bridge, you need to to stop fucking saying I'm sorry for things that you actually wanted to do. Because all you're really doing is spitting a fucking lie into the world day in and day out. It's becoming your norm. It's becoming your scapegoat to be able to get off of whatever it is that you've done. If you're in a relationship with your wife, kids, people you love, And every day you get up, and every day you keep lying to yourself, and they go to bed early, you stay up late, you feel foggy, you feel hectic, you feel like the day's just running you versus you running it, you wanted that. You drank when they went to bed because you wanted to. Period. So today, I want you to take a look at yourself. What actions do you want in your life? I've been on a little bit of a manifestation kick this week, right? So I just was out this morning, did my did my couple mile walk. I think it's about two, two and a half miles out on the lake. I, met, I walked into a certain spot where there's this open lot and right down there, I manifest what I want. I sit, I think, and I look, what's my vision going to look like? Are the kids going to be swimming? All these things. I want that. My actions, then all the wants, desires, steps that I take day in and day out actually propel me to wanting that. They do the work towards getting there. That's how the production gets there. But at first, I had to want and understand that these are my fucking thoughts, my emotions, my actions. So my question to you today is this. What do you really want in your life? Do you want chaos? Do you want abundance? Do you want clarity? Do you want disaster? Do you want focus? Do you want a hangover? Do you want lies? Or do you want truth? Because what you're doing by not owning everything that you've done is telling a story. It's telling a story to everyone around you. It's telling a story to your kids. It's telling a story to your employees. It's telling a story to your friends. It's telling a story to your wife. But what you really want is alcohol. Now, that's okay. If you want to drink, drink. Nobody's telling you you can't. Like I said numerous times, I'm not against drinking. If you want to drink, then drink. But don't go crying like a little victim. Don't go crying like a baby when your wife leaves you. 
Don't go crying like a little baby when the kids want nothing to do with you. Don't go crying like a little baby when you can't go to your, your daughter or son's basketball game or you go there and some other man is doing your job. So today, where are you telling yourself a lie? Where is this story not benefiting you? And how are you going to change it? And I get it. It's tough. Maybe for the first time you're, you're understanding this, you're hearing the words I'm saying, you don't listen to me, you're like, you know what, this guy's right. I have been lying. I have been doing what I want. It's time for me to own the fact that I did want to drink. It's time for me to own the fact that I did want to cheat. It's time to own the fact that I did want to become this person that I'm not. But now I no longer want to be this person, so I'm going to decide, declare, and I'm going to move past it. And if that's you, like always, I want to urge you to take a decision. Not make it, take it. Take the decision that I've laid out in front of you, the choice to work with myself and my team. What's going to happen? All you have to do is type in imacomeback.com forward slash apply, imacomeback.com forward slash apply. Fill out the application. See if we can be a fit. Show up on the call and decide to become the man you want to be. Whether it's today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, or never, we will always be here for you. That's what I got for you today. I hope you have an amazing day. See you on tomorrow's episode of the Comeback Podcast. Talk soon.